Anyway, your next comedian, speaking of white privilege, that's a terrible answer. No, that's good. Hey, your next comedian, he's pretty new to this game, so let's give him a voice coming up the middle. That's how new he is. Let's give him a warm round of applause. J.P. Mildred, everybody. All right, what's happening? What's happening? All right, so is anyone familiar with the MRA? Anyone? The MRA? No. Okay, that's men's rights activists. So there's this, this term that I'm sure some of you have a friend or something that is familiar with it that people use. It's called the, the red pill. You guys heard somebody say that, right? Nope. Really? Nobody? Okay, the red pill, it's, it's basically like, it's like, yeah, I'm anti the grain. I'm anti what everybody believes in now. You know, it's, it's sort of that neoconservative, the, you know, the alt-right sort of thing. So the red pill... And the blue pill originate from, uh, you know, the Matrix. And uh, the Wachowskis are now the, used to be the Wachowski brothers, and now they're the Wachowski sisters. So I just, I just want to make that point clear. Uh, this isn't supposed to be funny. I just think that there's, there's an irony here that's, uh, that's worth pointing out. All right, so it's November 2nd, okay? So, uh, so winter's coming. Welcome to the winter. Uh, so seasonal depression, uh, otherwise known as SADS, Seasonal Affective Disorder Syndrome, has kicked in for, for many folks, especially comedians who think they may suffer from mental illness, but they might just be, you know, narcissists with nothing to brag about. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's the nature of things, that's the nature of things. So for me, you know, when the winter comes, I honestly, I, I've never been to a doctor. I might be depressed, I might just be a huge fucking stoner, but, uh... You know, I tend to smoke a lot of weed, and I tend to, you know, uh, play a lot of video games. I tend to... My notes are upside down, eh? Uh, I tend to, uh, you know, watch a lot of, a lot of anime. Uh, you guys ever watch any anime? I have a Japanese friend, and I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's like anime, something like that. But, uh, so I'm... The, has anyone ever seen Neon Genesis Evangelion? It's, yeah, really? Okay, sweet. Okay, this is gonna fly. Um, so, yeah, the Evangelion is fucking crazy. So it's basically about, it's about, uh, it's about this, this guy who has really serious daddy issues. And, uh, and basically he's been summoned because they need the innocent mind of children to take over these government-created robots. Uh, to stop the world from having the apocalypse that's still inevitable from angels. Who are, who are, it is, it's, very, it's very Christian, actually, now that I think about it. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, basically the, the series ends, spoiler alert, uh, with um, the apocalypse. The apocalypse happens, and the apocalypse is actually the entire universe being this giant 12-year-old incestual sex fantasy. That is how the series ends. And uh, I think that's why a lot of people like anime. A lot of weird, sad, sad people, uh, you know liking anime uh so also, i also like to watch a lot of bad movies when uh when when the sads kick in so to speak uh you know i watched JP, per, i watched JP, pearl Hour. thank you thank you thank you JP. A lot of illegitimate sons <laughs> Very nice of you to stick up for me. I was being mean and I apologize. Please welcome.